Meanwhile, officials in Florida are assessing the damage and the danger from the massive sinkhole that swallowed up homes in Dunedin. NBC's Janet Shamlin is in a chopper high above the scene. Janet, good morning. Willie, good morning to you. This sinkhole has actually grown in size overnight, and there's more debris now falling in. From our vantage point, we're about 1,000 feet overhead. You can see... These homes came be to being swallowed up. Now, this morning, they know how very lucky they are, but the question is, what happens here next? Last night, 15 hours after the earth first opened up, the 90-foot wide, 50-foot deep sinkhole was still growing and noisily eating away at this house. Yeah, I don't think it's livable. I mean, I wouldn't want to live in that anymore. Michael Dupree is the owner of the home. This time-lapse video shows how the house and its contents were taken by the sinkhole. Today, Dupree and neighbor Matthew Tejadine are hoping they can return to salvage some memories before the sinkhole gets them. It's surreal. It's huge. Neighbors here know they live in an area prone to sinkholes. In March, not far away, a 30-foot hole opened and swallowed a man as he slept. His body was never recovered. And in August, a 90-foot sinkhole collapsed part of a vacation resort in this same part of Florida. They're so common in the state because the soil sits atop clay and limestone. When groundwater erodes the limestone, it creates a cavity. And when the heavy top layer collapses, it creates a sinkhole. The scary thing is we don't know. I mean, it could continue to come into other yards. It can open. So um, it is definitely an emergency situation here right now. A neighborhood under assault from the ground below. I just feel real bad for these people because they're just wonderful people and now they can't even get near their house. Okay, these two homes have been condemned. They're going to be tearing them down later this week and starting today they're going to start filling in that sinkhole for a number of reasons, uh, not the least of which is to keep people here out of danger. Willie, back to you. Thank Janet Chamlin in Dunedin, Florida, thank you so much. And our big thanks to our Tampa affiliate, WFLA, for helping us out with the chopper this morning. Incredible pictures. Yeah, you really get the perspective on just how big this is.